coming up on this episode. Ryan has fashioned a pole so that we can get some really good underwater shots of these fish coming by. Well, tonight is just too beautiful not to go fishing. We're going to catch some fish tonight. He's on it. He's on it. <gasps> honey, put the, the, put the, honey. Look what we have here, everyone. One's coming right up here. One's coming right here. Look at, he's right underneath me and I'd say that's a rainbow trout. There's a whole bunch of small ones now. I have such a happy little puppy down there. Aww. She's so happy, but yet she's kind of tired. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, you're having a rest. Aww. That's the life, eh, Opal? Pretty sweet. This is my friend. It seems Opal is not the only one who enjoys a rest. Today, we thought that we would just come and sit on the barge here and see if there's any fish around us, just for fun. Who's hanging out at the barge? Isn't that pretty? So, we're just gonna rig something up. Like, there's literally little fish, like, everywhere. Again, because there's a lot of flies, but it's beautiful and still, and, um, I can actually see fish swimming. Ryan has fashioned a pole so that we can get some really good underwater shots of these fish coming by. That'd be fun. Yep. And guess what? We found some and Ryan put his line in the water and I think once we check our GoPro footage, our underwater footage, I bet you we're gonna see a fish or two. I do. There's fish at like all over the little time. Okay, here comes one. Here comes one, honey. Yeah, There's two right there. Oh, did you see that? There we go. There we go. There we go. They like it when it hits the water. Yeah. Wow, this lake is teeming with fish. This is like the world's biggest aquarium. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, we are out fishing today, just taking things easy, but sometimes a person needs to regroup and be reminded of the big picture. In reality, we have a mammoth task ahead of us tomorrow. It starts bright and early, and as of yet, we really don't have a plan. We have to rescue Pepper from the miry depths of the mud and clay at the shore's edge. At this point, I'm not really sure how we're even going to get that done. The deep cold water of the lake here produces tasty whitefish, bull trout, and dolly varden. Also on the menu, of course, are delicious rainbow trout up to 5 pounds, and arctic char up to 50 pounds. Remote, unspoiled regions like this area of northern Canada, you know, that see very little human activity, contain beautiful, healthy lakes that support an abundance of aquatic life. Well, tonight is just too beautiful not to go fishing. We're going to catch some fish tonight. It's just too pretty out here. Like you've just got to do it on a night like this. You have to, you know? The sunset, well, it's not quite set yet, but it's up in the sky there. I tell you, that sun has given us so much power since we got power now 
I don't know. I've been hearing this week that people don't think you're off grid if you have solar power. I feel like you are because we're off the grid. And I think the grid means being on the grid. Whereas with solar power, you're on your own deal, kind of. Anyways, I've just been surprised because I've been seeing that lately and I just, what do I know? But I always felt like that would be off grid if you're if you're off grid <laughs> if you're if you've got your own solar power going on and there's nobody else on it or anything um, we literally carry our water up from the lake still um, at times because our pump sometimes isn't able to handle the load that we need in order to do everything oh and look at here who we have here going fishing <laughs> he's rigged up uh, uh oh where did the camera go on oh there it is he's rigged up a little device again we're going to try another time to get underneath the water hopefully actually document a fish being caught and his journey into the boat from underwater wouldn't that be fun just to follow the fish from the moment that he tugs the line to when plate. it actually goes on our plate that would be really fun yeah that would be fun oh it's so beautiful uh oh All dressed up, no place to go, yeah. kind of thing. This thing should fill up. That's like when my parents were going on a trip when we were all little and we were sitting in the van with our suitcases all ready to go. We were all dressed and we got in to start the van and it never started. <laughs> and we were like, it's kind of anticlimactic because we were so excited to go on our travel. Oh no. This is a bad thing. Yep. So now what? <laughs> oh, I wish our motor had an electric start, but it is what it is. What happens when it gets flooded? That's just the end of it? No. Oh my word! It Honey, it just started! Yeah. What made you think that it was flooded and what happened just now? Well, you just get the gas out of the cylinders. Oh. I wonder why that happened. I just know that if that were me, I'd never be able to go anywhere. Whew. Where do you want to go? Just around. Just around here. I've been seeing them jump all over the place right here. Or just all wherever. Maybe over there again we could try. I know they're just around here though. Like you can just see them all. In. How about right in that outside of that bay there? We haven't really tried that, but I'm seeing a lot of movement there. Let's try it. Let's just try it. Uh oh, it's not still not right. Still not right, honey. At least we've got paddles. Our original motor had died and this was the only motor in stock. We had no time to wait, so we had to act. Might be okay now. Okay. All right, we're gonna go. What am I doing wrong? Because I'm putting this on like that, right? I mean, it's all the way through, but then wait, it's gonna fall right off, okay? I mean, it kind of looks secure enough and all, but just hold it. Want to troll over to that side? Uh, over there, maybe? Because we haven't done that, and I'm just seeing so many fish jump. Okay. Well, you go, you do it. You know, you know what you're doing. You know where to go. No, no, you be the cat. But are you fishing? Yeah. Okay, so we have troubles because we both want to fish kind of on the same side of the boat. So what I'm going to do is... It's hard because I'm sitting on a seat like this. Um, yeah, but if you turned around the other way. I, it's not, it's not easy for me to do, to turn around, but I will try here. I'm gonna, no, see how can I turn? Anyways, it's okay. I, you, you stay there 
You stay there. We're You're all good. Bring your line in? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. There are fish jumping everywhere. Okay, I'll spin over there. See right there? Like I just think they're all over. I don't think it even matters right now. This is such a beautiful night though. Fishing is really, really relaxing. You just have to try to stay a little bit more calm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll take a page from your book. Okay. I know it gets exciting, but you just have to just try. There's the homestead over there. Fish just jumped right beside the boat. Oh, no way, really? Yeah. Are you going to catch him or me? No, I'm, I'm way too deep. You're too deep? Yeah. I bet you you'll get one tonight, honey. I bet you you'll get one tonight, yeah, honey. Jumped right there. Well, I thought that was your line, maybe. No. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, boy. Here goes. Oh, I got one. Honey, honey, you got one. Honey, you got one. Oh my word, honey, good job. Well, oh, you just, you just struck. No, I saw him jump out of the boat. Yeah. I've got. Yeah, he's not on it. You didn't get him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He struck though. He did. Does that mean he just bit your stuff off? off? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I thought I had him, but. That was an exciting one, hey? But yeah. you just got to, you got to try and hold it back a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be cool and calm and collected for you. Oh, that's nice. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is going to be a night. This is going to be a real <laughs> night. Wow, it's so gorgeous out here. I mean, it's like glass. Super nice. Yeah. Ready to go. Nothing like fishing, eh, Ryan? You like it? Nothing like it. Anybody? Nope. Seen anyone jump? No, nothing. Not again? Nope. Oh my word, honey, look at it, look at it, look at it! Ryan, is this a big one that you've got? No, it's not a big one. Yes, it is. I just saw him jump out of the boat. Okay, okay, bring him in, honey. You gotta reel him in. It doesn't feel like he's on there anymore. No, I saw him, I saw him. Yeah, I thought I set the hook, but no. Nope. He's gone. He can't be. He can't be. Oh, that can't be this. Yeah, he He's on it. He's on it. <gasps> honey, put the, the, put the, honey. Okay, stop for a minute. Okay, don't let him go. We want to get this on camera. We want to get it on the underground camera, honey. Turn it on, please. Honey. Okay, please turn it on. This one here. Because we want to see him. And this is very, very exciting. This one. Now, there we go. okay, just tell me where you're gonna bring him around and stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> I have to, Ryan. It doesn't matter, Ryan, it matters. It all matters. Can you bring him up here? Can you bring him? <laughs> just a moment. Where, whereabouts? Right by you. I don't think I have him down there. I don't, I don't know. It's a rainbow. It's a rainbow, it's a rainbow. No, I can't see him. He's right here. Put him. the surface. <laughs> Huh? Right at the surface, see yeah. him? Oh my, where? I think he went down low. No, it's right here. I don't have much line out. But can you bring him right here? I see. I see him. I see him. <laughs> He's literally looking at the camera. He is literally, but hold it for a moment. Now that is a beauty rainbow trout. You know, I've never actually seen a fish underwater while hooked on my line like this before. This is so cool.
Honey, I just need the net because I want to bring him in the boat. But why? This is a mo this is a wonderful time that we're having. Well, he might throw the hook. He won't. <laughs> okay, you just have to get him now. But right. just do it calmly. All right, honey, I'll try to be calm. <laughs> honey, I'm very proud of you. You've done a really nice job. Honey, oh, honey, do you think he's a keeper? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So let me see. He's let a, me see. He's a 10 inch or easy. Yeah, for sure. Okay, honey, I just want to see something. It can't get any fresher than this. This little guy will be a tender, tasty meal. And I can't wait for dinner. There's another one right there for crying out loud. Another one right there. Okay, I better, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I gotta get this one going for myself, okay, Ryan? Oh no, my, oh no, Ryan. My, my, um, it's gotten caught somewhere. Right. Shoot, because I was, I was just trying to remain calm and now I've lost my line, everything. Yeah, just take Can you put them in here? Melody has always dreamed of hearing the lonely call of the loon echoing through the twilight. Oh, it echoes. That was beautiful. Oh, honey, this is a dream. Mm -hmm. I like fishing. You have the fishing bug now. Yeah. <laughs> You got bitten by the bug and the fish got bitten by you. This is the little meps. This is the little meps. That's the guy that went, eh? Yeah, he caught it. It's a meps. Oh, we were told about that one, weren't we? Yeah, so we got one. That guy's, he's had it. He's tired. 13 and a half inches. Oh, he's really, really beautiful, hey? Yeah. It's a nice trout. It's really beautiful. Aww. You can always put them back if you want. Well, we're eating. Yeah, we're going to eat. Oh dear. <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll get them prepared. Okay. Yeah, we can decide whether we want to use it or not. Okay. I've had a tiny bit more experience since doing this. Okay, hold him up. Nice, honey. Yeah, you know, he's got to go on the, on the side. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a good little, I think it's a nice little fish. Yep, it is. We'll oh. have a good meal tonight. We're going to clean him up with the boiled water, the clean water that we boiled up. Yeah. Good one, honey. Good, nice job. Slicing through the backbone. This oh. looks pretty nice, huh? Yeah, sure does. So we've added onions. We've got some nice basmati rice going here. We have tons of lemon juice. We're both lemon juice people. Fresh lemons, of course. And our lovely, beautiful pink rainbow trout. Aren't they gorgeous? Mm. We're gonna cook those up nice. This is my new little lemon squeezer. All you do, you, you just take it in your hands, 
I see. Yeah. I'm trying to see. You got a cup underneath it? Oh, nice. It's full, honey. Oh, it is? Yeah. That's why you're dropping it on the ground. I'm not. Right There's still more. There's still more to go. Oh, see? cool. So that is half a lemon. And I've already poured the other half on the fish. But I like having it actually when I'm eating it, too. So we'll pour that on there later. Mm -hmm. And that is literally... Himalayan salt? Pink salt for pink fish? Yep. Pink salt for pink fish. That's right. Exactly. Got a little black pepper. Black uh, pepper for a pink fish? I'm not, um, I'm not a pepper person, really, at all. And then we have a special a fish spice with lemon, garlic, that kind of thing. Fish and sea rub. Yep. But I'm just gonna... And then cook up the rice nicely. And I would say, I like having nicely... Some, some crispies? Yeah, I do. I like yeah. having crispies on my rice. Yeah, some people think that's a sin, but I don't ever think it's no. a bad idea to overcook your stuff. Or maybe not overcook, but thoroughly cook. I like to overcook everything that I eat, honestly. And... Yeah, if you put the lid on... Some people don't agree, but I like a fried up fish deal. Whoops. Everything basically that I eat is always overdone. Well done. Whoa, this I'm looks delish. Okay, so this, we're waiting for the first bite. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that so amazing? Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know why, but I love watching people eat. So I couldn't bear to go and do the dishes after, so I'm just using a paper plate, because I'm tired. <laughs> and we're out in the wilderness, who's gonna know? Ryan insists on a plate. We desperately need to free Pepper from the muck. That little track loader has been indispensable for each project we have to accomplish before the snow flies. Each day in our timeline is so precious. Today is all about regrouping. Tomorrow, that'll be a different scene here on Bird Island. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please support us by clicking the thumbs up icon on YouTube. We invite you to also subscribe and click the bell. You'll be notified when we upload new content. Please invite your friends and family to come along too. Bye for now.